Okay, so before I install my ceramic bearings, I thought I would do a quick video showing how the rear drive line rotates on its own. I haven't gone to any extremes to clean the transmission out, so it is lightly greased. Um, I haven't done anything crazy to thin out the bearings. These are the kit bearings in the car, and I'm just going to give the wheels a gentle push, and we'll see how long it spins for. Okay, that was maybe a couple seconds at best. So now I'm going to install ceramic bearings in the hubs and in the transmission, and we're going to try it again. All right, so the ceramic bearing installation is complete. I have the car back up on my super duper high tech car stand. I also did the Matt Olson design aluminum out drives. They have this awesome anodized hard coat, so they kind of look like steel. Um, one footnote is I do use the Tamiya anti-wear grease, which is this super tacky silver grease. I use it on the inside of the pivot here. So that's gonna hurt me a little bit on my retest because the axles were relatively dry at first. However, the diff had puked its guts out over all over the inside of the transmission. So there was definitely drag in the before video. Let's see how it rolls now. I'm just gonna go gentle. Yeah, it's a smidge more free uh, when you give it just a gentle push, but I, I wouldn't say that this is a very scientific test. What I did notice, ooh, you can see it perfect right there. That's how free the drive line is. It is now free enough that the probably few gram imbalance on the rear tires is enough to keep them spinning as it uh, searches to, for, the, for the, the heavy side of the tire to go to the bottom which is pretty cool. It would not have done that before. And if I give it a really good push off my high tech stand, you can see it spins very freely for quite a while. If I didn't have grease in uh, or in the out drives, or if I use something thinner, it would probably be even more free, but I don't know. I got to do what I got to do. That's my OCD. I don't want stuff to wear out. So 70 bucks for the Wits Astro Glide, excuse me, hybrid Hyperglide, hyperdrive, whatever, bearings, and another, I don't know, 20, 25 bucks for the aluminum outdrives. I think the bench test really doesn't show it, but I'll bet you that this car will be able to carry another tooth or two on the pinion with all of that drag removed. So if you like to tinker, you like to try stuff out, and you got a little bit of money to burn, give it a shot. Ceramic bearings, they seem like they work.